Edie Roy is in San Francisco with more on this big story. Edie. Hi there, Brian. Industry experts say the 2018 Farm Bill could be a game-changing moment for the CBD industry. In fact, the CEO of Canopy Growth, which recently purchased Colorado-based hemp researcher Ebu, tells CNBC the congressional passage of the bill is a big deal, but it's not a finish line saying that it will spark a lot of what's next questions. Hemp-based CBD is a close cousin of the marijuana plant, but unlike THC, the active ingredient in cannabis, CBD is non-psychoactive, so it can't get you high. The CBD industry expects to reach nearly $600 million in sales this year, but if the law bill becomes law, that's expected to rise past the $1 billion mark next year. If hemp-based CBD becomes legal, you can expect big box retailers to start carrying CBD-based products on store shelves. Mass retailers could include Walmart, Target, Costco, and Kroger as well as pharmacy chains like CVS and Walgreens and department stores like Nordstrom, Saks, Bloomingdale's and Macy's as CBD companies also disrupt the beauty and wellness space. Companies which make CBD products could also win big. Many I've talked to say they've been speaking with mass retailers to bring their products to more households across the country. There are a number of these CBD startups in the beauty and wellness space, but the biggest companies in this industry are Charlotte's Web or CW Hemp, CV Sciences, and Medical Marijuana Inc. If hemp is legalized, CW Hemp, which is currently listed in Canada, says it will pursue a listing on a major U.S. exchange, and the CEO of CV Sciences says it hopes hemp legalization will help push through its application to the NASDAQ. And uh, Brian, you want to also add that CPG companies, consumer packaged good companies, they're closely watching this space too. They could be right behind those mass retailers and coming out with their own products. A big story there at D.D. Roy in San Francisco. D.D., thank you. Have a great night. All right, Tim, you are in the space. Who do you think could be the biggest winners from this hemp legalization? I, I think the largest U.S. integrated companies that have a retail presence, basically this gives them CBD light, this gives them cannabis light, this gives them hemp to have a national footprint on. So it actually, the companies that are 12 or 15 states as a retailer with dispensaries could arguably have a national platform and be ready for when CBD is totally available. The, the key, why is this important, is because it means that the federal government is now discerning, looking below the surface in terms of understanding the differences between the variability in some of the, these products and the science and not labeling all as a Schedule One. Very, very positive. I don't think, by the way, this is a sell the fact. This is not a, uh, a Canada nationalization announcement. This is not a U.S. nationalization announcement. I don't think this is in the price because I don't think a lot of these companies, people even know what the market is for the OTC wellness and pain. It's very exciting. And in fact, this is very big news. It is big news. It might be big news for a couple hundred thousand people that are in uh, jail serving long sentences, well, it's, by it's, the way. It's about yeah. I thought about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. That's All right. Point. Anybody else got a view on the pot names? I mean, they well, have stated it. I mean, here's the thing. Tim's going to tell you about the individual stocks, but the way I look at it, this is just such a massive growth industry that if you are looking at any negative news, you want to buy the negative news, close your eyes, and watch this thing grow because there's so many opportunities. Tim's talked about a bunch of different opportunities that I've never even heard of, but I know they're out there. So you buy them all, close your eyes, go home. Okay. That's the plan. That's that my plan. That's right, what so I've been doing. Under Armour share.